Hey everyone, welcome back to another Figma Storefront UI tutorial series video. Um, in this episode, I'm just kind of jumping around. I wanted to take a look at the reviews component and the radio component and just share how they work. And mostly just because they've recently been updated for SFUI 10 and the new auto layout function. Um, so let's just uh, go into the archive and just work on a new page and just I'll show you how they work. Pull up a frame. Uh, and let's just, you know, get the basics in there. So. Um, and let's get a heading in here. So, let's make this like a heading level one and call it, um, reviews. And subtitle will put leave a review for your purchase. Okay, so by default, um, these won't grow. So one thing we want to do is make them all left aligned. And then also we want this to grow so it doesn't wrap. And so there's our heading for the page. Uh, let's also have this hug contents. Uh, bring it down a little bit. Uh, I think you know, let's do a spacer for this, I think, just to help ourselves uh, see what kind of um, padding we're going to be using. And so the, a good reason to use spacers is because your developers are going to use the same values for margins and padding, so they won't have to guess what you used and what to use in their code. So let's go with um, a spacer large. Okay, so yeah, that looks about good. And then below that, let's add, add some more space. Let's add our radio button. I haven't really thought this through, but you know, we just kind of make it up as we go. Kind of quirky like that. So um, if you're following the Ionic series, just like that, all the components are designed to fit in iPhone 10 frame without any resizing, but obviously they all can be resized. So the good thing about the review component is depending on how much text you put in, uh, it'll grow. So let's say we just like copy this and keep pasting it. So now our review card is this big, but then if you're on desktop and you want to stretch it out a little bit, uh, just to make sure everything is, this is set to fill container. Okay. So why aren't we filling our container then? Oh, because this isn't set to fill container. There we go. So just by making sure everything is set to fill container, you can then resize your review depending on how big you want it to be. So that's just kind of handy the way the layout works. I think for now, this looks fine the way it is. So let's give two options. Our website. And I think we don't need um, the details exactly. So let's take these two and turn them off. Um, yeah, so these two turn off the spacers as well. And something like that. And then this can be so something like that. So now we have our two radio buttons, and so by default we can have one. I think we should put the website one first. And then we can just go into here and select the selected one. So easy to make those states change. And let's go below and just have like a section for sample reviews. So let's just use another heading. I think I'm going to use the same spacer. And let's take this down to like an H3. Boom, line it up. And let's add some reviews in here. So ever since SFUI version 9, I think, definitely 10, there is now only one review component for mobile. Well, the one that was for, basically they're both the same for mobile and desktop. So you don't have to worry about using the right one for your designs. Uh, the review component, just like the radio component, just kind of moves up and down as you scale it. And also, I think, if you were to add to this, it also moves. So, just like that. 
super easy to work with, you know. Yeah. And let's extend this a little bit. So we got other reviews. Let's maybe use a couple. So that. And let's make them a list. There we go. And let's add our bottom navigation. We can turn these off. So a nice shortcut to hide these spaces, just hit zero twice and they all get hidden. Um, also, I think I'm gonna make these fixed just because, uh, how do I make them fixed? Forget. Fixed position when scrolling and fixed position when scrolling. And so now when we go into prototype this, so yeah, now when I prototype this, um, it looks exactly like we want it to. Oh, okay, so yeah, one sec, I just forgot to, I didn't set this up correctly. So let's set this back to 812. And now when we go into the demo over here, we, oh, I forgot to turn on scrolling. Vertical scrolling, there we go. So now we have a nice reviews page that has a great little, you could probably pass this off as like a vaporware almost really, if you just fill in the data correctly. To do one more adjustment, oops. One more adjustment is when I scroll, I want this content to come above the bottom navigation. So I'm gonna go in here and add a spacer that's about this big. So what's the height of this, 59? So let's go to spacer, and I think the, let's we'll start with this, let's see how big this is. 80 is a bit too big. Uh, when we scroll, we don't have this overlap with the bottom navigation. So there we go. So that's what it would look like to build out a, kind of like a review screen with um, storefront UI Figma, yeah. All right, thanks for watching.